and it deals with your issue of trust. The perfect storm was, look at all the groups that had a fiduciary duty to hold these culprits in Wall Street accountable. They had a fiduciary legal duty, and they all looked the other way because they were paid to look the other way. The board of directors, the outside law firms, the outside accounting firms, the radiance agency like Standard and Poor and Moody's, the state and, local and federal banking agencies, the state legislative committees, the congressional legislative committees. <coughs> now, that's quite a safeguard cascade, isn't it? I mean, you would think that with all those safeguards, and, and, and they're being paid very well, or being given campaign money very well, they all fail, because they all were subjected themselves to the perverse economic incentive that cowardliness is the way to remain in power and to be promoted, even though the power is not exercised in a fiduciary way. And so when Bob Roberts said, it made a difference between 1927 and 2008, the indicators of decay and what anthropologists should be interested in is the indicators of social and cultural decay and political decay is that after the greatest crash based on speculative, speculative crimes with other people's money, as Brandeis said, based on deception, based on fraud, based on cover-ups, based on muzzling people who would have exposed them, and based on self-enrichment unheard of in the history of the world, to a degree where they even tanked their own companies. They developed a conflict of interest between their own wealth at the top and bonuses and options, and tanked their own companies, headed them to Washington for bailout. They emerged stronger than ever. That's the sign of decay. Whereas after 1929, they had to recede a bit, and the structures of SEC and the rest uh, came into play. When institutions betray the purposes for which they exist, and do it for self-enrichment in terms of the concentration power at the top, and come out stronger, and more influential on Congress, and more demanding of bailouts, and more able to riddle the already riddled Dodd-Frank law, that is a sign of very serious decay. And so, just the simple indicators of decay, just to supplement what you've all been saying, is that you can approach this from different angles. I like to approach it from the breach of fiduciary duty.